hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to do the validation so full crud application in react.js with laravel api we are going to do validation so we will be doing about validation about adding the forms and editing the forms so of while editing it and if the id is wrong so that validation and the delete id okay so now let's get started with add student so when i click save student it should validate it should be required and it should show the message as this field is required or phone number email validation all things so guys let's get started so first let's move to our application react.js so let's go over here so we are on the add student page so let's move to that component route of path add student where we are going to this add student component in the pages folder add dot add student dot js pages folder add student dot js done so yeah guys so when we click on this submit button that time we are going to student function where you are moving to this function and going to save the data using this laravel api route okay so let's go to this and do the validation over there and get the response according to that so now let's move to a laravel application so guys here is our route add student where we are posting the data using post method okay add student we are going at the student controller at store function so let's move to the student controller which we have created over here and at store function so this was the function to store the data guys so now before storing you need to validate all the fields so let's begin with that first create a variable called validator validator is equal to where validator scope resolution of make open and close function and now guys over here you need to start with the dollar request dollar request of all input fields where you are going to get in this array okay let's make this over here and now call your all the input fields name like paste the name so this name is nothing but your input field request so this name will be there after this you are going to give the validation which i want to be required and will give max length colon 191 copy and paste next is course so i'll paste the same same validation next is email so you are going to paste email and mention the email also over here done and then phone number so let's copy this and make phone over here required and we'll tell this as max 10 number and minimum also 10 number okay so instead of this email we have to put numeric done so now guys let's check this is in a if condition after this give if if dollar validator fails 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 function then you need to give else if if it fails then you are going over here else you are saving the data so let's make little front and close the else condition done and to return the message we are going to copy this and paste back and uh, let's remove this and make one unique variable called validate underscore error and over here you are going to paste all the validator message so let's copy this validator of messages okay so it's messages not message so guys now let us test this so before testing let's go so guys now let's get back to a react app by taking this variable validate error so let's go so guys once this is success the response is correct it will tell 200 if there is some error then you are going to move to else condition so let's go in the else condition and print this so first you are going to state the variable for error list so let's define that this dot set state open and close bracket and curly braces then you are going to tell create one variable called error list colon whatever the response you are getting so response dot data dot 
the error list you are getting so let me just show that this validate underscore err okay so that value you are getting and then sending this in array array format okay so we will copy and create one array over here inside your state let's paste colon with array done so now with this help of what are the details or error message you are getting let's show that in our below the input of html so let's use span tag to show the message design the class using bootstrap classes text danger and open and close curly brace paste it over here so list dot your input field name so that input field name is nothing but this value so name copy this so before this you are getting from state right we need to initialize that this state dot error underscore list dot then your name okay so same we are going to copy and paste for the course also so let's mention that course and the next field is email and then the phone let's paste copy and paste the phone done so guys now let us test so once you click on the submit button you will go to save student and over there if there is some error then it will come back to this that's it so now let's go okay refresh and now let us click on this save button before that let's inspect on your developer tool go to console so if any error comes we can see over here so let's save student okay so this set state okay we have missed one spelling mistake remove this set to set state okay give correct spelling refresh and yep guys so now let's click on save student you can see that input the name field is required the course field is required email and phone so let's add one input field called wade and let's save student you can see that the wade is there and that error has gone and the left out things are available so let's add that bca so with at gmail.com let's make some error in this and add some random digit phone number save you can see these two error has gone and email must be valid email address so let's give this at gmail.com and this should be must be greater than 10 digit okay let's save student still it's showing the error so let's go back to a laravel and let me just remove this numeric and now guys let us try get back to google chrome and now let us save the student guys let's click on save perfect so student added successfully okay let's refresh okay that message was not refreshed because the page didn't load right or I'll just refresh the page so once it's added you can move back to your home page okay so for that guys you can just add one simple code into your react so let's add that after this I want to go to home page this dot props dot history dot push function where after inserting the data I want to go to home page okay let's save and yep guys add student vijay bca vijay at gmail.com and the phone number i'm going to give wrong save student you can see must be at least 10 characters so let's give one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now let's save the student you can see successfully added your reader to home page perfect so let's save and let's close you can see that guys data has come over here with the validation so now let's move on to edit the validation okay let's click on over here and yep guys so let me just show you one thing so id number 10 is last right let's click so id number data you have got now let's try to give over here 12 what in case of 12 when you try to validate that 
so you get error so for that also you need to do some validation so get back to your laravel doc and move at the edit function so before how are you getting to understand this is edit function so you need to go to your react app go to your app.js file at the route where you can find this url edit student with the id so edit student with the id at this component edit student so let's move there edit student.js so when you load the page that time this url calls with the id okay so edit student slash id and then you get the response over here okay so after this if this is success then you are getting that details if id is wrong so at that time what you will do use else statement and paste this over here space and make this to 404 which means something is not found so let's create this status with 404 so let's get back and just go to your api you can find this edit student api right so you are getting from here so edit student that path i'm calling over here edit student with the id going to the controller add edit function so this is how we are coming to this edit function now guys let us use if condition if student if it is true then you will be you will get your data else you are going to say it's 404 error where the message you are going to show no student id found as simple so let's save and when the response goes back to your react app over here you will check with the response of your data with status 404 as simple so once 404 comes over here that time you are going to push back and show the message so let us copy some code to show the message so let's copy this sweet alert message if you want to understand how this sweet alert is working please watch out the previous video link in the description let's save so this is to show the message and over here we will tell if it is like warning and the message you will get that no student found okay and give this as warning the icon will be warning and after this showing the message i want to go back to home page so this dot props dot history dot push function where after this want to go on home page as simple close and yep guys now let's try to hit enter you can see warning the message did not come let's see why from your controller let's send this message not student so make this message and call that message over here okay done let's refresh again now edit with this id 9 and let's add some id number 50 hit enter when you try to access the id 50 you can see no student id found okay done and now let's get back to edit and same way guys when you are have don't have any data that time you have to validate so as we done for the adding of student data same we are going to update with the edit students okay so let's move top we need just to copy all the same things and go to your update function paste let's move one step forward and paste that's it so the same input fields we are calling all these fields are same for updating the data so in case of updating we have to move on this on your react file we are on the edit student so when you click on the submit button you go to update student function okay so this is update student if it is success then you are coming inside this what in case of if it is wrong so at that time you will check else condition else while updating if the id is changed so this id right so this id is changed over here so for that case you are going to copy the same code which you have just for the done for edit 
let's paste so if status is 404 then you have to show this message warning and push to history else so for this else condition what about this showing the message so first let us set this 404 let's get back so now you are finding this id right if id is sent wrong at that time you are going to use this if else condition cut one step forward paste is else and the same message you are going to print so let me just copy from top that no student id found over here done and now get this is this will be your 404 error so if something goes wrong it will come here if the validation error comes at that time you will go over here in the else condition so as we did for add student we will copy from there itself so let's copy this code state set state of this whatever the response that validate error is coming we need to copy and create one state error list with the array error list with array done and use this to display your messages in your input fields so as simple so same way guys we are going to use that span tag and design the class text field using class called text danger open curly this dot state dot your error list from there dot your input field names okay so copy paste this will be the course and this will be your email field copy paste this will be your phone okay phone save and now guys let us test refresh and now let's submit you can see updated successfully now let's try to edit with other data where we will take this so we'll check with this id number three let's click on update you can see at least 10 characters and this is button is disabled so let me just enable that comment it yep guys let's refresh okay now update student must be at least 10 character let's give one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now let's update perfect updated successfully okay and we want to go back to the home page after updating that so this was the message once it is success i want to go back to this dot props dot history history dot push function to home page after saving the record okay showing the message and i want to go back so let's comment it because we are not using this let's and now let's try to update so guys i'm going to change this as bca csc section and update student perfect so updated and student updated successfully and back we are over here cool so guys for this delete also you can validate as same thing okay by checking that id so guys we have successfully completed how to do validation in react.js using our laravel api so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share